Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Washing Dishes. Today, we're going to do something that I think is really fun and kind of underrated, or at least underdone, uh, particularly by home cooks, and that is a piece of fish with a super, super crispy skin. We're going to achieve this by cooking it almost exclusively on the skin side. I'm going to use salmon, <clears throat> but you could use any fish with a fairly sturdy skin that's not going to kind of fall apart in the pan. Uh, you'll see why in a little bit. But right now, I'm just going ahead and taking care of the other plating elements. I'm making my salad of many cultures, which I have a video for. Uh, I'll try to have a link either in the description or up in the corner. Um, it's a salad of cucumbers, tomatoes, red onions, and herbs. It's really delicious and goes great with fish. We're going to make some Israeli couscous with the same herbs that we're putting in the salad. And we're just going to plate that up. Um, it's all stuff I've made before. There's videos for most of it. With the cucumbers nice and diced up in, you know, about three, half to three quarter inch pieces, I'm going to go ahead and do the same to the tomatoes, cutting out the gooey, snotty, seedy part because it's the part of the tomato I don't like and I'm cooking this for myself. If you like that texture, leave it in. Uh, cook food that you want to eat. Anyway, so we're just, I'm just cutting that out and then di slicing and dicing them. Again, about the same size as the cucumbers. It's, you know, doesn't have to be precise. This is often a very rustic dish, and I'm not trying super hard here. So, it's just dinner. Don't, you don't think, you, do, you don't need to make a production out of it. You totally can, but you don't need to, and this isn't the main event for the video anyway. And we're going to do the same thing to the onion, just dice it into like half in, half to three quarter inch little pieces. Then we will add it all to the bowl, chop up our herbs, season it, add some oil. You could add lemon juice or I'm adding some cider vinegar. Toss it all together and just leave that in the fridge for at least a good 20 to 30 minutes before you really dig into it. It'll make a big difference letting the flavors kind of sit and mellow and come together. The couscous is also very simple. It's packaged couscous that I'm just cooking according to the package directions. Uh, it's like three quarters of a cup of couscous and a little over a cup and a half of water. We're just going to bring that to a boil, a little bit of oil in there to just kind of both season it and keep it from sticking too much. And we're good to go. It's hot. The salad is the part of this that is going to take the longest, so I took care of that first. I've got some really nice coho salmon here. Uh, we're gonna keep the salmon really simple, both because I really like just the way salmon tastes on its own, um, but also because I wanna be able to demonstrate the, the technique that we're gonna use to get the fish, skin, to get the skin super crispy. Uh, the first step of that is to pat this dry all over, especially on the skin side. You want to make sure that you don't have any stray scales. If you run your finger back and forth, you'll be able to feel them if they're there. I'm good. Um, I was actually all set to go to the fish market today, and the grocery store ended up having surprisingly nice salmon, so I went with that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we're just going to pat it dry, and then I'm going to salt the skin side pretty liberally but we're not going to pepper the skin side. Give it a little flip. Don't need to go quite as hard on this side with the salt. And then on the skin, on the flesh side, we are going to pepper. Little heavier than we might usually do because we're trying to season the entire thing just from one side But that's good. Okay, so I'm gonna let this sit at room temperature for a good 10-15 minutes Just to kind of come up to temp and give the salt a chance to kind of draw the moisture out 
Uh, and then we'll pat it dry again. So back in the flies. Our couscous is bubbling away and has been this entire time. So we're just going to basically let this go until the pearls of couscous are nice and tender. And then we'll cut the heat, add the herbs, a little bit of butter, season it up. It'll be beautiful. But again, not the main event. Let's get back to the salmon here. The first step to getting super crispy salmon skin is a ripping hot pan with a little bit of oil in it. And that's what we're going to do. So take it away. I'm putting a fair amount of oil in the pan, but once the salmon hits the pan, it's going to be loud and I'm going to switch to a voiceover, but we're going to bring this oil up to temp and that temp is going to be very hot. We're going to start to see the very first wisps of smoke come off this as if we were, well, because we will be bringing the oil up to its smoke point. I'm using grapeseed oil. You could use any high heat neutral oil for this. Do not use butter. You will burn the butter. Um, Grapeseed oil, canola oil, avocado oil, all fine. Don't use butter. Don't use extra virgin olive oil. I wouldn't use any olive oil, TBH. All right, we should be at temp, so let's go for it. Leave this in skin side down. And I'm going to level with you right now. This was the second try. I didn't have the pan hot enough on the first one, and it's stuck. So, yeah, make sure your pan is hot enough. But we're going to put this in, and we're going to let this go on just the skin side pretty much the entire time. If you look at the side of the salmon here, you can see the cooked, the color change from where it's getting cooked creeping on up. And we're going to let this go on the skin side until it is almost all the way at the top, which it just about is here. Our couscous is ready, so we're going to stir that with a fork while the salmon finishes its last couple bits. You can see the salmon, you, like there's smoke in that pan. I am, this, the oil is smoking, and that means that I have precious little time to finish cooking the salmon before I get the bitter, nasty flavor so I'm really cutting it close here. Yeah, you can see I'm, I'm moving the salmon off heat for a minute while I finish this up. So yeah, I'm gonna finish the couscous. We'll finish the salmon. Hang on one sec and we'll show you the flip. Now I've got the salmon back on the heat for the last little teensy tiny bit of cooking. We're gonna give it one flip, which Definitely be careful, try not to splash any oil out of the pan, especially not onto yourself. So I'm going to carefully flip it with a fork, and you can see the skin is very crispy. I didn't get the mic close enough, so uh, I'll fix that later. But yeah, so we're just going to finish it. We can get the skin crispier, so we're going to give it another moment, and then we'll plate this all up. And about two minutes later, we've got gloriously crispy salmon skin. We'll give this literally 60 seconds and then it's time to plate up. I'm going to get a little fancy and use a ring mold here. Mostly just, I don't know, I feel like it. Sometimes you feel fancy. I, I should have thought ahead about feeling fancy and done a better job with the knife cuts on the uh, salad, but you know, whatever. So we're just gonna pile this in the middle, spread the salad around it, lay the salmon on top, kind of drizzle it with some sauce. And I don't know, you tell me, I think it looks pretty tasty. Yeah. All right. I'm going to dive in. Give me a sec. All right. So let's get some of that crispy skin. Oh, it just shreds apart. Yes. Beautiful. God, this looks so good. Mmm. Yes. Super crispy. Super tasty. I love it. Yeah, the rest of it is unsurprisingly quite good too, but I've made all that stuff before for you. Anyway, 
Thanks so much for watching, as always. I hope you learned something. I hope you'll try out this technique. I hope you'll drop me a like and a subscribe. That would be cool. Because, um, you know, I've been doing this for a little bit. If you like what you see, check out some other videos. Catch me on social media, Instagram, threads, at Washing the Wind with no E. Uh, Twitter and Twitch, or X, Twitter and Twitch, uh, Washing the Wind, the way it's spelled down below. Um, recipes for the other stuff that I've made are either in cards or in the description. And yeah, check these out in case you like something there. Have a great rest of your time zone. Thanks for watching. Don't trip like I just did.